What's up, Rectech family? Watch this whole video and see if you can spot Rex. If you do, put in the comment section the timestamp that you see him and your favorite dish of the day, and you may win something. And we're hey, back. We're back. Hey. hey, Facebook. Do, do, do. Sorry about that, guys. Do, do, do. So if you want to know do, do, do. the shenanigans that occurred in the last five minutes since we had to change Facebook, after this, after Twitter, go to Instagram and you can see what happens. Yeah, we were acting a fool over in the Insta. Shenanigans. Get up in our DMs. Shenanigans. Ask us questions. Yeah, she said she's going to pause the timer because we were uh, a little weird there. So, it's okay. It is uh, Monday, Friday. Look. We got, a re we got a recap over here for Facebook. Everybody, can y'all hear us? Are we on the RecTech Facebook page? We are. That is confirmed. <laughs> what is the very newest comment? Uh, what do you call a seagull that lives at the bay? A bagel. Oh! <laughs> oh. Pound it. With or without a schmear. Love that dad. Ray Carnes will be here in 30 minutes. Okay. Ray! Hey. Hey. Yes. Awesome house. All right. We got, we got a manager meeting today. Little buffalo bites right here. But it is National New Hampshire Day. It's also National Beer Lovers Day. So, to everyone out there, we are drinking uh, some delicious Ballast Point Scoopton. Sculpin, Sculpin IPA. Sculpin IPA. Yeah. So, it got a little bit of a grapefruit essence, although not overly overly uh, sweet. It's got a good bit of hop flavor to it. I kind of like it. Ooh, it I is think happy. The, the hoppy is going to go really well with kind of all the fat with the sausage and the bacon and all that stuff. So, I read a meme today that said... Uh, Hoppy beers are like the pumpkin spice to white guys. <laughs> I could concur with that statement. Yeah, I'm all over it. Love the hoppiness. But I can only have, you know, it, it, it puts a different taste in my mouth. I can only have like two to three. Mm -hmm. It's not like a delicious, refreshing Bud Light to where I can just drink a But the beauty water, of, you know? of really hoppy IPA is it's like yeah. that really intense red wine. You eat it with that really good roast, that really good steak, that really nice piece of venison, and it, it all goes together. Yeah. So speaking of this IPA, or any IPAs uh, for that matter, uh, what would, what type of food would those pair well with, Jeff? So typically foods that are spicier. Okay. Mexican. So like your Hispanic, your you know your uh, um, jer Thai, your Caribbean cuisines. Oh yeah. And things very fatty. So bacon, sausage, really fatty cuts of meat, really delicious. Thick ribeyes, really good. Okay, very really cool. Good. So we've got the technically we've got the perfect beer for what we've got going we have, on. We have what we call a, a food marriage. Oh, I love it. With the happiest day of my IPAs life is when I married my wife. Mine too? Shut up. Here's Hashtag to our wives. Hashtag best wives. wives ever. Shut up. Get out of here. I love my wife. No, just fine. Every day. Every day. But it is National Beer Day. We're celebrating. This is game day part two. Chef, what do we got for our delicious game day eats? Dude, it's going to be a, an awesome day. So to start off... The, what's over there on the left? On the My left, they're right. All right, we're going to start here in the middle. Okay. So our, our featured item today is going to be the walking taco, of which we took uh, ground turkey and seasoned it up with a Say what? Uh, chorizo-type seasoning. So if you watched our stories yesterday... Madeline did a That's great right. job at identifying what this was. So we are basically made a ground turkey chorizo. We're going to cook that in the mm. matador with some onions, peppers. Mm. And we're going to make some walking tacos. So this is your bag. Walk it like a taco. Walk, so walk it like what we'll do taco. is we'll kind of crunch walk, this walk up. Like we'll taco. put our, our, uh, our meat in there. But hold on. These, these bags have, like, awesome messages. <laughs> like... This one says Fun Day Friday? How did they know I was going to get this one? What are you doing, like, Doritos? Frito RT Lay? 700? What's up, Frito, Frito Lay? Lay is part of the Rectech family. Shout out, Frito Lay. So, we love y'all. Thank you for sending us. Make sure you look for these limited awesome edition Doritos. Dorito bags with custom Rectech messages. Available. How in the world we got them to do that? I never know, but <laughs> awesome. we did. Oh, that's, that's your bag, too. Shout out to... What was his name, Ben? Ben knows the, the CEO of Frito-Lay by name. Shout out General Manager Ben. Frank Jefferson, we love you, Frito-Lay. <laughs> and if you're looking for more storage, these aprons available at rectechgrills.com. Watch what I pull out of here, okay? I did have this ranch in here put earlier, so we'll, so I've got ranch. I've got a Dirty Girl season. I've got spatula. I've got my tongs. How in the world did I fit another seasoning in there? Son of a gun. Set of gloves and, and some more Frito, delicious Frito Lay Doritos. I mean, how much storage is awesome? I mean, am I am I right or am I wrong, Ashley? 
Right. Right as rain, baby. So, did we tell everybody what we're doing? Not yet. We started, and then we got distracted. Okay, sorry, sorry. So we have our, our turkey chorizo walking tacos. We're going to pair that up with our elote. Elote. I'm fired up about So this. we're going to grill our corn. We're going uh, to mix get it up. We're going to get messy today. We are going to get dirty. Uh, with uh, crema, sour, cr uh, sour cream and mayonnaise, some lime, some cilantro, some cojito cheese. It's going to be fantastic. And elotes is this exact. Exactly. So this would be uh, your Mexican street corn, but elotes is the right name for that. Everybody's doing elotes, but we're doing it here first for you guys because mm -hmm. we love you so much. I saw it, it was great with the... Uh, I saw it on Coke's social media this yeah, morning. So We've been promoting it for a couple days now, so they, they took it from us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so I'm going to use my big pointer here. It comes with uh, your grill grates, your sear finger. kit. So we have some... Pork sausage. Oh. We're gonna do miniature mm. atomic buffalo turds, but we're gonna call them atomic buffalo bites. bites. So this is gonna be our one biter. Because writing the word turd it's in just a inappropriate. Just doesn't look good. But it makes you laugh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we've got some andouille sausage, Slow some it. little smokies, some jalapenos and cheese. We'll wrap that up and a bacon because everything in bacon is better. Oh. We're also gonna be doing bacon wrapped quail. Boom! So we had, in addition to our chicken class yesterday, mm -hmm. I took Country Club to school and we boned out yeah. some quail. Hashtag so he club. rocked that one. So thank you, Country Club. Yeah. The and real Country also, Club, I will say. It's also dove season in it most is. of the United States. And yes, you can do exactly the what we're thing. doing with the quail, with these doves, with that bird shot in. And, and we're, still looking, better with the season. we're still looking for someone to send us some dove. We, yeah, we're we, still looking. We threw that Hail Mary out uh, yeah. earlier in the week, but so, no one. Uh, so if any of, you know, it, it worked with the waffles it and did. the bag of money. It, it did. And uh, it did. what else? And Mail Day Monday. Mail it Day worked Monday. with all of that stuff. So if you, any local hunters out there that have bagged some quail here, uh, excuse me, some dove. dove here recently, I don't care if they got shot in them or not, uh, we would love to feature your delicious quail we would. on uh, Funday Friday. I will dove. cook you lunch. Dove again. Dove. Sorry. Dove. <laughs> and then we're also going to be doing uh, some smoked buffalo chicken dip. So again, we had uh, we showed the girls how to debone some chickens yesterday. They did a great job. The girls did that. an awesome job yesterday um, for sure. Fantastic. So we're gonna a little uh, cream cheese, some buffalo sauce, and the ladies are gonna. You guys are gonna see the ladies uh, more and more. Uh, so please, please, please make sure you get to know them. Make sure you follow them on all all their social media as well. Uh, but I'm fired up. It's game day. Game day. Uh, after uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the Mexican street corn. We're gonna do the uh, buffalo bites, the chicken dip, the buffalo chicken dip. Yep. Um, yep. I gotta do the winners. What else we're we gonna do, Chef? Uh, the walking tacos. Yep. And then uh, the elotes. elotes. Yeah. So I'm fired up about it. But we do have some winners to announce. We wanted to get through that first. Um, so for our fantasy football winner, if you guys remember, we had our fantasy football contest. All you had to do was put the name of your team in the comment. You had to like it. You could share it. Uh, and you could also tag people in it as well. Um, but Miss Sue Graham, congratulations. You won our fantasy football contest. Thank you so much for participating. Awesome. We love you. Um, you won yourself a Rectech Trailblazer, a Sauce and Spice Bundle, and an awesome, awesome Icer Bag Cooler. There you go. A shout out to our friends at IcerOutdoors.com for helping us out with that. We also have a weekly YouTube contest. If you guys don't know about it, make sure you watch our YouTube videos every Monday that we upload. We upload this episode of Fun Day Friday, and then we show you how you can win, but you just have to watch the episode, please. Um, but the winner of that, it, with a correct answer of 49 minutes and 23 seconds, is Mr. Derek Larson. Yep. Thank you, Derek. Congratulations, Derek. Yeah. And then we also have a caption in this contest this every great. Tuesday. And this, this was, was so much fun. Yeah. At Betty's Branch. Yeah. Oh, at, yes. Not the picture itself, but us actually being there, yes. This is not a very fun picture, I don't this think. I enjoyed it because I didn't really know what was happening. And we came through. And you're, you're keeping the boat steady right there, buddy. Well, I, I did want to stand up because I figured we were going over. But we I came. I believe I can fly. We came ripping through a no wake zone. I believe with I reckless can abandon. The sky. And all of a sudden, we're about 20 foot off of shore. And I see Jody day. jump up. You spread my wings. And, and fly literally away. went flying off the boat. So I, I, did, I didn't really I know what was soar. happening. You see me running through that open door. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Man. Ooh, sorry. Ooh. Oh, man. But then we also have uh, a caption in this contest. Sorry, I was in my song for a second. Um, we got a couple of funny ones. I'll go ahead and go down the line. Uh, North underscore down said, last one to the grill has to go vegan. <laughs> Luke Swearingen. Sorry, Luke. Um, when the smoked jalapeno poppers kick in. Gotta go poop. 
Um, <laughs> you gotta make a turd. George Wadsworth. I like this one. My Rectech app is telling me my brisket is done. I gotta go. Um, Jim Block. Shout out to Jim Block. I've been seeing you all over social media, Jim. You've been killing it lately. Uh, never eat kale and then go for a boat ride. It's nope, true. another poop joke. Yep. Like it. <laughs> We're making turds today. Ugh. Bites, turd bites. But the winner of our caption this contest from Instagram is Mr. TC Cannonball with when you're out fishing with your homies and your wife texts you, the kids just went to grandma's house. Yeah, you That's know what I'm one. talking about. Yeah. You know where Jody's going. Going to the house. Get in the bed and go to sleep. Because <laughs> the baby's gone. No. That's when you make another uh, baby. But thank you uh, to TC Cannonball. Thank you to all the entries. We really do appreciate you and all that you do. Um, there are a lot of folks that do it every week, aren't there? Every week? Thank you guys so much every for that. Week. It means the world to us. You don't have to comment on anything on the internet and you choose to comment on our stuff. We appreciate really it. appreciate it. appreciate it. Um, but yeah, make sure you follow us on all social medias. Make sure that you set your notifications. We will be back. Uh, at 12 o'clock? 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We usually say 20 minutes, but we've gone a little long. Um, but to all the winners, uh, to claim your prize, please email Madeline, Madeline at rectechgirls.com. Madeline. Madeline, M-A-D-E-L-I-N-E -E, at rectechgirls.com. Mm -hmm. And all of you solicitors out there, quit sending Madeline emails. You crazies. <laughs> she ain't gonna buy none of y'all stuff. She don't want health insurance. She doesn't want she doesn't health need to insurance. Refinance. You don't want health insurance? <laughs> I have it. You She's have, been oh, getting all kinds of emails, mm -hmm. but I'm giving her email out on the internet. So. Yeah. 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 So. yeah. But we will be back at 12. Thank you guys so much. Uh, it is game day part two. Oh yeah. Football. Ooh, Woo! We're fired up here at Rec Tech. Ray's gonna be here hopefully in about 30 minutes. So you'll see he has crazy antics. Thank you guys so much. Set your notifications. We'll be back at 12 Eastern. And don't forget, when we go off uh God, what is it? Off the air. Off, off the air. The air? Yeah. Off the when we go off the internet. When we're stopped being live here, when we're, we're gonna be live, live on, Twitter. on Twitter. So if you guys follow us on Twitter, we're also very active on Reddit now. Mm -hmm. We've got some subcategories and subreddits. We're on Reddit and you should be too. Yay! If you're not on Reddit, you're missing out where you can read it. Ben is on Reddit, and he's been killing it lately. Like, people like been talking smack to Ben, and Ben's like, oh, no, you didn't. He's going to lay the smack down. Oh, don't want to forget. Also, I want to send a beautiful, delicious, amazing shout-out to Mr. Nick Strite from St. Angsta, Iowa, for this amazing knife that he sent Ben. That is a beautiful-looking knife right there. Oh. Mm. Thank you, Mr. Nick Strite. You're a kind man. We're getting the wrap-up signal. We'll see you at we'll 12 Eastern. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. You gotta, you gotta Again, yeah. Oh. Do, do, do. Why was that? Do, do. Quail breast? Do, do, do. Mini chicken guy. breast? Greg's got quail breast. It looks like breast. a little shot right there, but it's not. No. Now, yeah. Chef, food, let's talk food safety about these little guys. Uh -huh. Are these just like chicken? Would you want to handle these just like chicken? Yeah, you want to cook these, you know, right at 160 degrees or so. Uh, we painstakingly deboned all of it. Y'all did it. Y'all did it. Yes, right. Right. So these yeah. are, and you can buy Thanks, them. Mike. Take care, Mike. Have a good week. Thanks. You can also buy these um, in this fashion. So shout out to Manchester Farms Quail. They do a great job with their quail program in oh. South Carolina. Yeah. And then we've also got some leg and thigh. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, Leg right? and because thigh. This and this is, is boneless as well. This is a toothpick. Yep. And that is the leg slash thigh. And they are quick. perfectly boneless. Yes, and we did are. that, did a great job with that yesterday. I think it could and they are intact. And for those naysayers out there, we did this from scratch for you. I watched you. Love you. If you guys so. would have saw the stories, you would have seen it. Yep. So make sure you follow us so um, when you, on every, in, uh, every aspect of social media. Because you, you don't know when you will uh, get some of that behind the scenes. Forgot a feather. Feather, shout out. Fresh. It's like an eyelash, but it's a feather. So we're just gonna um, surround these in bacon. We are, but first we're gonna season them up with. Nope, not that one. Not that one either. Oh yeah, and this one. Bronze. The... Talk a bit. Of, talk a little bit about that. Chef, so, because a lot of people are really missing out. Uh, they're not purchasing this at rectechgrills.com. You guys. So the kick and espresso this rub. This stuff is amazing. And I don't think, you know what, I don't amazing. think. Amazing. I don't think we do enough recipes with it, so I'll, I'll take that I think that this one. is the one that has the most, as you say, umami in it. It does, in fact. So you think of espresso, you think of coffee, bitter. Mm -mm. Nope. 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 Get, no. Get your mind right. Wrong. Get your mind right. This people. also has some ancho powder in there, so it's not spicy. No. But you get a really good bit of smoke. 
and then there's that savory element. So if you read our blog, we Shut talked up. about flavor profiles. Shut up, Chef Brad. Right? So the espresso is a great bitter flavor, right? Mm -hmm. It adds some great supporting elements in this rub, and this is stupid delicious. No, it's amazing. I like it on pork tenderloins. It's good on I pork. also like it on ribeyes. Uh, I've done chicken tenderloins with these, mm -hmm. little chicken fingers, and they were awesome. And it's not... Yeah, the ribs we did, we didn't yep. think that they were going to be very good, but they were awesome. And we uh, don't... Thank you for reminding me of that, uh, General Manager Ben. God, that's, why he, that's why he's the boss. That's why he... I'm telling you, man. So he, again... He, I just wanted to uh, talk more about how awesome Ben is. Um, he just he, he does a really good job of remembering uh, all of our customers out there, and they really appreciate that. Um, so we want to send a shout out to General Manager Ben. You're doing an amazing job with your, with our customer service. Thank you so much. I know you're right there, but I did want to tell you um, in front of the camera as well. So we'll actually uh... <laughs> Ray. I'm gonna need Ben to get a raise. Ron. We got. Oh, Ben, oh. Said I can get a raise. Oh. Hold, hold on. We can stand up. Stand up. Just there we go. Pound it, pound it. Oh, I got a race. Whew. So we'll actually glaze these with our barbecue sauce. Hot up in here. We're gonna so, glaze it. What'd you say? We're gonna glaze this with our gourmet barbecue oh sauce. My God, that's gonna be amazing. Right? Yep. So you're seasoning the quail first, and season then, it first. Yes, sir. Then you're wrapping it. Exactly, Jordan. Yep. We're building these flavor elements. You read the blog. I t oh, that's what I do. There's one person that read the blog. Guys, if, I'm telling you, if you want to learn more in-depth information, and there's also some um, lifestyle stuff on there. Ashley Brown writes on there. Um, we're going to try to encourage more folks to, to, to write on there. But go to the website, www.rectechgrills.com, and right in the middle, right up at the top, the word blog, click on that mm -hmm. and read about uh, Chef Greg and his flavor profiles. Uh, also, there's an awesome Labor Day blog on there. Mm -hmm. um, feel free. You know, it's easy, light reading. You did one about ribs a couple weeks ago? That's right. You broke ribs down. We did. Uh, and I, we actually got a, a lot of phone calls and emails uh, thanking you cool. uh, for, for helping folks out with ribs for sure. I want to give a shout out to our behind the scenes editor there, uh, Mr. Jordan Johnson, the face behind Twitter, because um, a decent chef I might be. Eloquent but, with but the but words. A but a punctuist, you are not. No. So he, uh, he fixed my spelling and grammatical errors, and I appreciate that. So. And abbreviations. He's really good on abbreviations. Yeah. And uh, spacing. Spacing. Yep, spacing. Yep. So we're going to do this with our uh, <laughs> quail. And what we're going to do is for our, we'll wrap some more of these later on. But we will jump over to our atomic buffalo bite turds. Yep, do it. Because, I mean, Let's poop is funny. I don't know Let it cool off. how you can not laugh when people make poop jokes. Poop. So we like poop jokes. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna grab. It about, reminds you of the good old days as a kid. Of course. You know, there's yeah. nothing. There's not. Okay. There's nothing more funny than potty humor. No. All right, so we're gonna grab about two ounces of ground Italian sausage. You can also use spicy, but this is the mild. You could use sweet. It's completely up to you. You can also use ground country sausage. Oh. Whatever floats your country sausage. Whatever floats your boat. Right? A, lot of, uh, a lot of local grocery stores uh, all over the U.S. are going to have that uh, awesome local country sauce. So normally when you do ABTs or Atomic Buffalo Turds, you're taking a whole jalapeno, stuffing with cheese, wrapping it, and they're big. Well, game day. We can't have our mouth full and be cheering at the same no. time. And so you can't these, have stuff dripping down no, your it's, chin. It's bad. It's bad. Yeah. bad you ruin your game. jersey by wiping. So we're going to take these and make them a little smaller. So we're going to just take a jalapeno, piece of cheese, and mm. just kind of... Mm. Just like that. And then and that's going to cook through and everything, Chef. Sure enough is. Okay. And that's done. I mean, that's, it don't get much easier than that. And this, these are going to be both the quail and this are super quick, right? Yep. Yep. What, uh, what would be the time and temp? We're probably look. we're do. Uh, we're going to go 350 because we're doing bacon. We don't want any, uh, any grease right. fry, fires. Chef tip, if you're doing anything super fatty, keep it under 375, I always mm -hmm. say. Yep. So, so probably about. Watch out for those grease fires. 25, 30 minutes. 25, 30 minutes. Now, and, uh, 350, you can right. also. Jazz it up a little. Get bit. it, get it, chef. So we're gonna grab a little smoky, a whole kernel of corn, cream corn, a whole kernel. No, no? okay. We'll grab that pepper and a little cheese. Mm. So these are gonna be mystery. Yeah, we won't know what's on the A B A T B S <laughs> because some might have a sausage, some might have a little cocktail, and some is just gonna be a little bit of a 
and all the jalapeno these, and cheese. That's right. And all of these recipes are already up on the website, right? Sure Chef? enough are. Yep. And then uh, if the moderator is out there on Facebook, he's probably putting them up there as well for you mm -hmm. with links and stuff. Uh, he's probably putting up links for this awesome, awesome apron. He's probably also got a link for our Memphis hats. Uh, and then don't forget about the red tiger stripe polo I got on. All of this stuff is available at rectechgirls.com. We'll be All cooking awesome on apparel. cooking mats. Yep, we'll be using the cooking mats today. Our second shelves. Uh, we'll be using the RT590, the Stampede, mm -hmm. with that Y pellet Wi Fi connectivity. Yep. You got the dual meat probes. Mm -hmm. And then we're also going to take, now, if you can stuff these with sausage, Ooh. this is Andouille sausage. Now, That's chef, different. chef tip, make sure your sausage is cooked. You don't want to put raw sausage on the inside because we're going to get about 165 degrees on the outside. Probably not going to get that high on the inside. So make sure your sausage is pre cooked. And we're going to build that the same way with a little bit of our jalapeno and cheddar cheese. And. That is a Dude, party right fire, there. Bro. So, all right, well, what, all right. Do got, what do you got going on? All right, buddy? so this is going to be our buffalo chicken dip. The ladies did an amazing job yesterday at butchering these chickens uh, and then smoking them. What did you do? You said 350? We went 325 for about 75 minutes. 325 for about 75 minutes uh, on these uh, quartered pieces of chicken. And all I'm doing right now is I'm pulling it. Put this off to the side. We're going to have some... Uh, millennials reach in there and grab that real soon because this we season this with raised front row master bloom mm. and this ladies and gentlemen is what you call deliciousness oh yeah uh, do not throw that away make sure you save that me personally i like to roll it up uh and eat the whole thing at once that way you get that flavor explosion uh inside your mouth so we're just pulling this chicken and Chef is going to add 32 ounces of cream cheese. Well, I mean, go big or go home. <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you look at it, you're like, oh, that's not a lot of cream cheese. But when you say 32 ounces, it, it sounds, sounds like a lot. a lot. Christopher Matthew Long wants to know, does that Tiger Stripe shirt come in uh, the size of someone with a body uh, by barbecue? Oh, yes. Uh, we've got X. plenty of barbecue mediums out there. <laughs> Three X's. <laughs> Three and four X's. That's what we call barbecue medium. Um, so we're doing 32 ounces of cream cheese in here. Uh, this is going to be our mozzarella cheese. Yep, it's eight ounces. Eight ounces of mozz. Mozz is amazing. We're going to do, uh, what is this? Eight ounces, eight ounces of, of smoked cheddar. We, we didn't smoke this cheddar ourselves, but we did purchase it. We're going to top it off with some blue cheese crumbs. Oh, I got greasy hands. Let me get it for you. And the ranch. Oh, you get it? My hands are not greasy. Help you out. Oh, gosh. Country. We're gonna add about a God, cup and a half, hands. two cups of ranch. Cup and a half. Cup and a half. This is gonna be exactly of... two cups. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I'm using Ray's mm. way of measuring. Mm. 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 I got some buffalo sauce on my ranch. You can make oh, it pretty. No, yeah. So get in there with your hands. What is it? What is your best? What's the best tool that you have at your disposal? Chef? This one's right here. Boom. So I'll get it. I'll get dirty. So you just want to... And make sure your cream like... cheese and everything's at room temp. Your chicken needs a little warm. That'll say. help it uh, be tasty. So I'm going to mix it together all up at the top. And then to, to really bring it on home, you yeah. know, this might not be in the recipe, mm -hmm. but you got to go rogue. So we'll add a little... Yeah. And what is this, Ray's Front this Row? This is Ray's Front Row Master Blend. Available at rectechgrills.com. This is... Ray's Front Row is probably my second favorite. Of course, you guys know I'm biased. I love the bins, heifer dust. That's always my number one go-to. Oh man, this is mixing up so well. John um, Oaks is saying that he's going to send us some Duff's and Anchor Bar sauces. Oh, Buffalo thanks, sauce. John. That like like I said, John sent us that uh that monkey shoulder scotch and, and introduced us uh, to it, and it was amazing. John, we do Mail Monday. Monday. Wait, wait, wait. This is the drunken. This is the drunken part, everybody. So we've got some delicious IPA. Yep. And this is gonna be that even keel IPA. Oh my god, that's just and you want to make sure you know uh, mm. add it to uh, your uh, texture here. Uh, this is starting to feel uh, and look like dip now. Uh, so you don't want it to be too runny. That looks pretty darn delicious. I know I'm just trying to, I really want to mix it up well because I want every bite to be like a I'm gonna I say it again, chef, a flavor explosion. We love flavor explosions. We love explosions. So we've got our cast iron pan. Can't forget about that piece of chicken. Oh, sorry, everybody. You're not, you're not seeing. Chicken down. Ooh. 
box. You know, that, and that all fit in that. Look at that. 12 exactly. Inch perfect. <laughs> wow. That's gonna. Oh man. Yes. What Put kind that of blue cheese on top of that. Right there. Kind of build it up right there. And those will put that right there and that'll melt over. Ooh, all this work. What? All this work's got me wanting to drink some brewskis. Oh my god, that's gonna be okay. And then I'll show you my this is what I call the flavor roll. We'll end on this. And I know y'all, everybody out there is gonna be like, oh. But this. Mm. Mm. So we will see you live back. 12:30. We'll be in the back. We'll get this baked off at 350 for about 30 minutes. We will wrap up and finish cooking all of our ABTs, our bacon wrap quail. We'll get our elotes grilled off. And if you want to see that Get behind the, the scenes out, baby. action, jump over to Twitter because our Twitter maestro will be live there. And uh, you can see Follow the, us on everything. the shenanigans that occur at that time. So we'll see you at 1230. At the rectangle. Drinking beers do, on Friday. Do, do, do. Got the greatest do, job do, ever. Do, do. Toy Story. Watched that seven times yesterday. My son loves Toy Story. I got a Reddit about my Ring of Fire. Post. Holy crap! Look at this. It's I need to get on up. that Reddit. So you can read it right now on Reddit. I can read it on Reddit? It's my Reddit joke. Maybe I already read it. Uh, but you didn't comment because I didn't oh, read wow. it. Yet. Oh, Lord. So let's get right into that. I was wanting to make a shandy today. Oh, tasty. So we'll make a shandy here pretty soon before well, the summer ends. Um, but, you know, more beer talk. A, a shandy is just simply. Um, a lager mixed with some gin yep. uh, and some citrus mm -hmm. and there's something else I'm missing in there but it is man is it is a refreshing summer alcoholic beverages good. oh good. man it's so good but this this right here if you like a little bit of citrus this Hollywood blondie from the Golden Road Brewing Company is absolutely amazing it's got it's a Belgian style blonde ale so it's like a blue moon or like a shock top but not as sweet correct and it's got passion fruit and peach oh man i mean I i'm not gonna lie to you chef it the, is the pretty sweet had lately like they're stepping their can game up no a lot of the yeah like i mean some of them are textured and like yeah no they're doing a great job um the graphic graphic design departments out there uh are just killing it so. but speaking of doing a good job yeah check out what we have on the rt 700 bowl show them, buddy so it's like a proud dad moment Jody Flanagan put his foot in that drunken, smoked buffalo chicken dip. Hey, while we're here, Chef. Tears. No food talk. Let's talk maintenance real quick. Maintenance. You guys see this right here? This is what's called creosote. That is not, uh, that is not your paint chipping. That is just the grease smoke elements uh, getting burned off of the lid. Don't worry, this is not paint. You can simply, when you're not cooking, scrape this stuff off, uh, and then your lid will be just as good as new. You can see where we scraped off some of it earlier today. Um, but that is just the creosote, uh, a, a lot of the residue left over from cooking and smoking. That is not your paint, guys. This is a porcelain enamel coated lid. This thing is not, there's no paint to fail on this bad boy. Uh, it's got that stainless steel barrel. There's no paint to fail on this thing, guys. If this thing got up to a thousand degrees, there would be no paint to peel off of this bad boy. That stainless steel is going to hold up. What about, what about, what's this behind you? Oh, snap. This is another stainless steel body grill. That uh, 590 Stampede, which we are quickly coming off of back order. We are still on back order uh, of these bad boys, um, uh, but we are quickly coming off of that. Now we're just going to probe one of these little guys. And again, Chef uh, said we wanted to shoot for an internal of 165 degrees. And what are those for our viewers that may have just tuned oh, in? Uh, these are our bacon wrapped boneless quail. That, we uh, seasoned those with our Ron's Kickin' Espresso. Yeah, we use the Ron's Kickin' Espresso rub. They're going to be absolutely amazing. And then, oh wait, <laughs> there's well, wait, more. There's more to go. Mm. You accessoried me. I accessoried you a little too early. It's okay. Hey, look at that. Another oh, look. another cool reason to get the second shelf is that it holds food for you. These are our atomic buffalo turd bites. 
everything's pretty much running at 350, right, Chef? Yes, sir. And let me see that. I know that second shelf's hot, but I want to show you guys something here. So this second shelf, let's go back to the bowl. Yeah, show them where it fits. So you have a couple options. So with the bowl, you can run it. Whoop! Towel stuck. Let me move this over. With the bowl, you can run it left and right. You can double up. Or front to back. And if you have multiple, you can then do like this. And that way, plenty of food. Casserole pans, all sorts of stuff. I'm going to take this one. Now, will that fit in the stampede shop? It show enough will. So you can take your rack, you can also stick double it up in like the that. Another one. Now this one, this one's shelves. hot. More food. Available at rectechgrills.com. Plenty of space. Plenty of space. So we've got the bullseye. You guys can see it. It's at 550 plus right now. Oh, full. We literally just cut it on. Five minutes before the segment. We're full of pellets. The chef's gonna fire roasts. Uh, these ears of corn. I think we need to kick this corn up. Now, oh. will those second shelves fit into the 680 on both directions? Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. The 680 is the same uh, size internally as the 700. There you, you go, Chris. Uh, put some rays on here since yes. my hands are all greasy. Oh, how'd your hands get greasy, Chef? I kind of lubed up the corn. Oh. See, oh, guys, yeah, see right I'm not there. being That's not it. being light with it. Don't be afraid to get some seasoning on your food. All right, well, these are gonna go on the bullseye. We wanna char this up a little bit, and we can do that with the bullseye. Got that direct fire grilling. Check it out from this angle, guys. You can see that flame. This thing is hot, hot, hot. It's getting hot in here. Oh, shout out to Ray. He loves Nelly. My is so hot, I wanna take my core. Beautiful, beautiful picture. Speaking of hot, right we're just gonna cook this on full. What about 20, 30 minutes, Chef? Uh, we'll check it, but maybe between 15 and 20. Okay. We'll rotate it a couple times. Rick Bishop wants to know if that fits in the Trailblazer as well. Show enough does. It will fit uh, left to right in the Trailblazer. Okay. Rick, did you just tune in? Did you just see us? We haven't had any Boomer Sumer shout outs. Yeah. So we have here three pounds of our turkey chorizo. You made that yourself. We did in fact. We cheated. We bought some ground turkey, the 8515. Wait a second, you didn't cheat. I did. It's homemade. Because, I mean, we don't have a meat grinder here yet at Red Tech Rules Worldwide Headquarters, but we will. Unless anybody out there Unless, wants to send uh, us a sausage Unless any amazing grinder. meat grinding company out yep. there would like to send us one, we would love to feature you on Funday Friday. There's a really great website out there, sausagemaker.com. <laughs> so sausagemaker.com if you're out there. They got good of stuff. Of course, that's their website. So if you're looking, they are. For uh, casing, <laughs> seasonings, equipment, Send us something. We'll cook it. No, we'll cook it. So we have our Matador. Free Available at rectechgirls.com. Free shipping. $1.99 to your door. It includes the 20-pound adapter hose. It also includes the windscreen. With the competition, you're paying double for the grill, and you got to pay extra for the windscreen and adapter. Uh, that's why if you're looking for a gas wok cooker, this is going to be the best bet, uh, the best bang for your buck. Uh, the next competition, uh, you guys know them. We can't say their name, uh, but you guys know who they are. Uh, but they are $3.99, and you have to pay extra for the adapter, and you have to pay extra for the wind guard. That's absolutely ridiculous. We include it with the purchase, no doubt. as well as free shipping. So and that's $1.99 to your door. You're getting an amazing gas wok cooker. And you'll notice with the uh, turkey being a lot leaner than the pork or yeah, beef chorizo, yep. there's not going to be a lot of fat. So it's going to cook up nice and lean. And... Um, if I leaned over here and got a deep breath, I'd start to cough because I'm getting that pepper and that vinegar and all those spices, the, the cayenne, cumin, the coriander, the and all of that stuff. That and we use uh, chipotle powder in there. Okay. And if you guys want to see how to make that, you can go and watch our stories on Instagram and Facebook, <laughs> and you'll see each and every day we do all kinds of different things, and this was one of the things that we prepared yesterday. And we'll cook this until it's an internal about 165 degrees, but it'll crumble like your favorite taco recipe just to be a lot lighter because it i know summer's almost over but, but, but the real grilling season starting with football season Ooh, 
I was gonna say down south at least it's it's still pool season. No, for sure. So I gotta watch that 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 dad bod. That dad bod. My wife said the word move yesterday. Move? Ma, uh, Becky. She was like, uh, look, what is she? She. All right, so we were. All right, I got to tell the story. So we're driving in the car. We're going, we're coming back from Publix. Shout out. And I'm driving, and she just reaches over and does this number, and like flex me, and she says the word move, <laughs> looks me in the eyes, says the word move, and continues on looking straight ahead. This ain't moves. This is body by barbecue, baby. That's 100% man right there. This is all man. You know what you got yourself into when you married me, baby. That's, <laughs> but that's brisket, bro, that's pork belly, you. that's pulled pork, pork belly. that's St. Louis ribs. Saint that's all that Louis deliciousness right there. Ribs. But she said, she just looked at me in the eyes and said the word move, and then continued on. It was it was like, it was heartbreaking, baby. Um, and then I tried to come back with saddlebag, and she was like, no, nope, ain't got it. And I tried to say something else. She was like, nah, you ain't got nothing on this. Uh, I guess, yeah, that was my own story. My wife has got strong gym games. Oh, she's got this, she's on that keto, she's on that keto, man. Shout out to everybody on that keto, we got one minute. So let's uh, end it with some beer talk, Chef. Beer talk. So uh, besides the IPA, most, of course, our friends and family out there are gonna be cooking the barbecue. What What is a great uh, uh, flavor and or type of beer uh, to get with our barbecue this weekend while we're cheering on our favorite team? There you go. So. My second favorite style of beers is going to be your darker beers, like Newcastle's, Guinness. The Ambers. You know, well, a little bit darker than that, okay. too. Porters um, and Stouts. Porters and Stouts are good. They go delicious with desserts. Why? Because they're kind of thick, creamy. They go great with pies, cakes. You take you take Guinness and mix that with, like, a dark chocolate, like, soccer tour. Not soccer, S-O-C-C-E-R, yeah, but S-A-C-H-E-R, like a dark chocolate raspberry tart. Dude. Or you buy those little chocolate truffles and down one of those and then drink a and, then, and then drink a Guinness yeah, or like I a have dark, heard that. dark I have heard that for sure. Oh my god, it's that's a beer marriage right there. Mm -hmm. Alright, but we've got our game day uh, items on. Let's run through them one more time, Jordan. We got the chorizo going on. We've got our fire roasted corn on the bullseye at 500 plus degrees. We've got the uh, bacon wrapped uh, armadillo bites at 350 on the trailblazer. We've got the bacon wrapped boneless quail at 350 on the stampede, and we're monitoring it with our probe at 350 degrees. And then at 350, we're also baking My our uh, buffalo, drunken buffalo chicken dip. But we will be back at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard. We'll see you at the Rectech. Woo! Holy oh, fire! Hey, right, you gotta dance, baby. Do, 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 do. Oh, do, do, do. oh no, no. Hey, man, if you can get David Wright to dance, you're doing something. Somebody, you're gonna get some Bud Light. 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 Where's Bud Light at? Where's that Bud Light? Hey, there's a familiar face. Gregory Simply. needs a beer as well. Raycon's in the baby. building. Whoa. If you guys, you guys missed, Rainy, if you don't follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, you missed our behind the scenes Labor Day party at this man's house. We had a ball. It, we had more than a ball. No, I'm not. I've got to go to the Colton's game tonight. I'm taking it easy. That's Rec Tech drinking responsibly. That's right. And we do that. Until we get to the game. <laughs> it's a high school football game. Country. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, After right. the game. My dad's not a high school After coach or nothing. After the game. Yeah. All right. So it is National Beer Lovers Day, so let's Woo! go ahead and open that, make that apparent that we are loving beer today. I am That's jacked right. up right now. This food is up. smelling it's good. It's looking good. Well, this over here is like, it's that's why I came over. Calling your name? Can I make you a taco? Taco? What are you tacoing about? All right, so... This is uh, this is Jody's Jody's bag, hashtag beard game. So, Ray, Ray, you explain explain the. Uh, I'm gonna show the hack, man. Instead of going in from the top, which is smaller, you get an extra inch of access. An oh. inch means a lot. Oh, oh, an inch is. I mean, a football is a game of inches. Exactly. So that's boom. Wow. So I like to take mine and just wait a second. Just give a little, give a little crunch. All right, walk it like a taco. Talk. We're gonna what, grab like, our what is it from? turkey <laughs> chorizo. Millennials are singing nowadays. What Shake that down in there. Taco. Walk it like a. Taco. We're gonna grab a little bit of our lettuce. Wait for it. You like onion in your taco? Duh. Sorry. Everything that's on the table you can put in my taco right now. Okay. A little cilantro. You cajito or you a cheddar guy? Both. Perfect. If you're gonna be a bear, what kind of bear do you want to be? A grizzly. A little pico. And then 
Really didn't. A little, <laughs> wait for it, a little Dirty Girl hot sauce. Coming yeah. soon. Yeah. It's got them brown tomatoes in it. Keep up a great I get it. Can you get one more? Ooh. Yeah. Can you crunch your chips? Jesus. I already crunched. You already crunched Are you a red Dorito or a blue Dorito kind of person? Oh, Put that in the comments man. below. That's a good question. That's right going to start I a war. Know. I want to know. And it's gotta be everything, Ray. Everything. Cool yeah. Ranch. If you can, cool if you could feel cool this, ranch. this feels like a five-pound bass in my hand. And b believe you me, I've caught many a five-pound bass five in my life. Pounders. It feels just like this. And stuff. you can walk around the tailgate with this. that very easily, correct? Look yes. At that. Look at that. Go! Oh, this no! Is gonna be crazy good. Mm. Hold on, wait a second. Go to your bag. I need your bag, boy. Oh, 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 There you go. We got a little red, a little blue action. Oh man. Oh man. Ray's diving in. Mm. Mm, you can put some places out of business with this. Tastes like a school night to me. There you Mom go. used to make tacos. Ready for your elote? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so corn, wooden skewer. Mm. Boom. So now we got a building. So we get a plate. A little spice. A little sour cream. That dirty girl blood marinade. Or the, excuse me, the dirty girl. A little sauce. mayonnaise. Woo! Oh, we got queso in the microwave. See? Kind of give that a little bit of a mix. You could also make your own queso with our queso recipes. You could. Absolutely. Delicious. Available. So grab that fork and kind of roll. That's a lot of crema. What exactly is crema, Greg? So it's like a Mexican condiment. It's great for pretty much tacos, everything. Is it it's like a almost like creme fraiche, like the French have creme fraiche. It's like a sour cream, but not not as intense. Okay, so it is a it is a milk base. Mm -hmm. So you got to grab your cojito. Oh, cheese. Grab some cilantro. That's my favorite fresh ingredient with cilantro. Lime. You can smell it right now. Mm. And then a little bit of your crema over the top. This is like a healthy version of corn. Oh, yeah, no doubt. So, <laughs> and then, hold on. Do you guys, Keeping it uh, healthy. So my jokes throughout the day, do y'all think they're very corny? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. Top it off with there, Greg. Uh, Put a little front row master blend. Uh, now, Jody. Koi well, Goodnight said that this is beard dressing. No, you gotta, I'll hold the plate. But you got to show people how to eat this. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I thought yeah. I was going to eat that one. No, you got to eat this one. <laughs> all right. Oh, man. Hey, Don't everybody. be afraid, Judy. All right, yeah, all right. So when we started the day, everybody was like, oh, you're going to get that There's everywhere. There's some Rectech towels behind you. Rectech towels available at rectechgirls.com. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> These are going to really protect the uh, shirt. These are going to help me today in my quest. The apron as well. Available at rectechgirls.com. Beer deep, buddy. Come on. We'll get a good smile, good look at everybody. Here's to you, Let's Ray. give them a countdown, guys. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Ooh, baby. Oh, my God. All oh, <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Sorry, not sorry, Becky. Let's touch the list. have to hose them off at the Am door. Am I going to need a shower? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I would do Dude, oh, none, of it's none of it's dripped out of the beard yet. This is what I look like at a Mexican restaurant. I'm not gonna lie. Save it for later. Oh my god, that's impressive. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. All right, so we've just lost Jody for the rest of the day. Um, so back into our Jody, atomic buffalo yeah. bites. Yeah. No. So we'll no. cut into one no. of these. No. We are not. We are not <laughs> using this for a caption contest. I'm saying this right now. <laughs> so look, this one was stuffed with that jalapeno and sausage. <laughs> Man, that corn was good. <laughs> this one was also stuffed with that sausage, jalapeno, and cheese. We did two different varieties of sausage in these. We did. Oh, what we're doing? What different sausages did you use? Oh, this one was a little smoky. This was the one that you wrap like a ring on the finger. Oh, it is. <laughs> I can't even look at them. I mean, it looks delicious. Oh, that's great. Well, how how delicious does it look? It was so good. Very, very good. Mm. Uh, if you see something that good, you need to put a ring on it. You just. Mm. Yep. Oh, there it is. Oh. Mm. Lots of food. Lots of food. Yeah. Mm. Woo! Buddy. Do I have anything on my face? Man, that taco. Nope. No, you're you trying a piece of oh, bacon wrap quail? Yeah. Love quail. I'm a fan. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. And what? 
What does quail taste like for those of our viewers that may not have had quail before? Very mild. You get some poultry, but it's just like just like a chicken. White meat chicken, I think. To me, it's kind of bland. You gotta add that. It's like a chicken. I can't even look at it. It's great. What? Why can't you look at Jim? But. Hey Beth, Miss Rectech just walked in. Oh, uh, Ow! I don't want her to see me like this. So we have our buffalo chicken dip. Let me grab a little. Uh, Beth, don't judge me. I can't do it. Here. So this here is bubbly, hot, delicious. Mm. Oh Lord! You could put that in your walking taco as well. I'd like to put that in my beard. Save it for later. <laughs> but I'm a fan of the uh, the Cheeto, the Fritos with this. Croker was out of scoops this morning. How was it even possible? Kroger's business must be really good. When we went, they were out of chicken wings and jalapenos. Football mm -hmm. season. They must be killing it this year. Mm-hmm. Mm. Nice. Now, my favorite, because you got to be, you know, healthy. Keto friendly. Sorry. Keto friendly. Right there. Mm-hmm. The dip as well? Mm-hmm. Yes, the dip, the dip as, well. as well. Absolutely. Nice. nice. Yep, there, yeah, yeah, keto, there is absolutely, there's really no carbs in that whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Um, there might might have been a little in the um, the buffalo dip, mm -hmm. a little um, buffalo dip, but, but it's pretty much all cheese carbs. and chicken. Now I did not double dip; I yeah. flip it around. We double dip around here. Do we? Mm. Do we double dip? There? We always double dip around here. Double, double dip. Mm -hmm. yeah, there it is. Mm. Chef, you knocked it out of the park once again, buddy. The walking tacos, or some of my. Do I have got something, something right, right right there? I got it. Oh, thank you. You're good. You're good. So, the rest so of now that. we need to assemble this mm. elotes salad, right? Because we had a real one. I got so distracted that I just. So we're gonna grab. This is our roasted corn we took off of the uh, the cob. We're gonna add a little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of sour cream. Oh. Oh. Jody looks like the Joker. A little bit of crema. What they saying? Can I have something in my teeth. <laughs> no. No. Okay. You're good. We'll add a little bit of wine. Don't judge me, Beth. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go a little cilantro. Shout out to Mel Yellow. And what we'll do is I'll put the cojito on the top because I want this to kind of marinate. Yeah. And then if you are worried about <clears throat> looking like Jody, um, this is a great this, way. This is the best way not to look like him. Because then you can just do this. You can easily eat this by the spoonful instead of going cheek to cheek. Mm. So this would be the uh, polite way to eat mm. it was good, isn't it? elote at mm -mm. a party. Mm -hmm. I feel good. Mm. Still going, or, still going at it. Or you can go to a tailgate and act like a maniac. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'd recommend bringing a new shirt with you. Maybe bringing one a these, beer uh, trailer. Going to rectechgirls.com and picking up one of these amazing aprons. Mm -hmm. That way you can protect all your clothes. Mm -mm. Uh, but I do have obviously something on my face. What are these again? So that is atomic Make buffalo right. turd bites. Oh, it's got the uh, so we put uh, smokies. We, smokies. We actually did that one with andouille sausage, oh. and the smokies is in this one. Here. But yeah, uh, we want to thank everybody for hanging out with us today. Uh, remember, all of these video, uh, excuse me, recipes are available at rectechgrills.com. Uh, we just knocked out this elote salad. We did these uh, bacon wrapped armadillo. Uh, atomic sauce. armadillo bites. Yep. We also did the bacon wrapped quail, which mm -hmm. is amazing. You can also do this with dove. It is dove season. You can do the same exact thing with your dove. We did the elote salad. We did the, uh, I like to call it drunken high um, buffalo chicken dip, uh, but we're calling it the buff chick dip. And then, what was the fifth the And then the walking, walking tacos, tacos walking which were tacos. knocking out the park. Those are absolutely amazing. Um, but don't forget, next Friday we will be in Atlanta hanging out with Brad Barrett with Grill Greats. Ron Cundy will be live with us. Uh, we will be in Atlanta hanging out at uh, Grill, Day Grill Greats Worldwide Headquarters. Uh, don't forget, we've got so, we've got more than this many cooks yep. in the American Royal, which is technically uh, the World Series of Barbecue. Mm -hmm. It is at the Kansas City Speedway, yeah, so good luck to all of our rec tech uh, cooks out there. Don't forget about our YouTube contest. Every Monday we upload this episode to YouTube, and you can actually win yourself a rec tech prize pack just by watching that video. Uh, don't forget about Mail Mondays. We have a couple of things for Mail Monday this coming up Monday. Then we have our Caption This Contest Tuesday. Greg goes to the grocery store on Wednesday. Uh, we do our uh, Reddit 
on Thursday, and then Funday Fridays are on Friday. So we have something for you literally every day. We share a Ray and Stevie video every Sunday, and then a Chef Greg recipe video gets shared on Saturday too. So we, we've got all of the tools for you to succeed as a rec tech owner. For sure. And for all the behind the scenes stuff, make sure you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, check out the stories yep. because you could have seen the rub for the turkey chorizo. So maybe next time you guys can be cooking along with us. And I'll comment see. on our YouTube videos. Yeah, comment on those YouTube videos. Uh, you might win yourself a prize pack. Uh, also, leave us a Google review if, if you would be so kind to do. Uh, I've been reading all of those and commenting on all of those, and we really do appreciate all of the support out there from Rec Tech Nation. Uh, but please, please, please leave us a Google review if you can. Um, I got I got nothing except for Go Dogs this weekend. Have a safe weekend. Have a safe weekend. Um, Ray? Have a safe weekend. I'll be cooking at Augusta Prep next Friday. <laughs> also, while y'all are at Vi yep. Uh, um, yep. Brad's. Mm -hmm. And I'll go live one and time. And we'll have somebody going live with okay. Ray as well. Absolutely. Nice. So uh, you'll get to see Ray oh, like Mamba, in his element. Yeah. With Chef Steve. Thank you guys so much. Have a safe weekend. We'll see you. You. At the Rec Tech. Happy Beer Day. Rec Tech Lifestyle. Oh, if you want to win a Rec Tech Bull, visit whiskeyrun.us. You can get a last minute Ticket, raffle ticket, whiskeyrun.us. When is that going to be wrapped up there, dude? Tonight. Tonight? Uh -oh, yeah, yeah, the Border the, Bash. Uh, border Bash. In Augusta, Georgia, at the Augusta Commons. Yeah.